In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. And welcome to the shrine and minor basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today we come together once again to thank God, especially for the gift of life that God has given us and only God can give. And we also come in order to thank Him, lalong lalo na yung mga nakapasa sa licensure, sa teacher's licensure uh, exam, lalong lalo na yung mga nagpa-bless uh, tumingi ng tulong sa ating mahal na ina. We thank God and that, I, that is why we return for that blessing that we receive from Him. And we also pray for those who are asking prayer for us, especially those who are sick, those who are in need, at lalong lalo na yung mga may birthday at may anniversary sa araw na ito. So my dear friends, let us now make ourselves worthy of this holy celebration. Once again, let us be reconciled with one another and with our God as we say, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great listen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in, in what, what I have failed to do, through, through my, my fault, fault, through my fault, through, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, Creator and Redeemer of human nature, you will that your word should take flesh in an ever, ever virgin womb. Look with favor on, your pri on our prayers that your only begotten Son, having taken to himself our humanity, may be pleased to grant us a share to his divinity. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, shall your brothers praise your hand on the neck of your enemies. The son of your father shall bow down to you. Judah, like a lion's whelp, you have grown up on prey, my son. He crouches like a lion recumbent, the king of beasts. Who would dare rouse him? The scepter shall never depart from Judah, or the mace from between his legs, while tribute is brought to him, and he receives the people's homage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment, endow the king, and with your justice, the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time, in fullness of peace forever. The mountains shall yield peace for the people, and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, 
save the children of the poor. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever. As long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him all the tribu tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Please stand. Wisdom of our God Most High, guiding creation with power and love, come to teach us the path of knowledge. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according. To Mark, Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perith and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Aminadab, Aminadab became the father of Nashon, Nashon the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Buz, whose mother was Reab. Buz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth, Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David, the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abiha. Abiha the father of Asaph, Asaph became the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram. Joram, the father of Uzziah, Uzziah became the father of Jotham, Jotham, the father of Ahaz, Ahaz, the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh, Manasseh, the father of Amos, Amos, the father of Josiah, Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Shealtiel, Shealtiel the father of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel the father of Abiud, Abiud became the father of Eliakim, Eliakim the father of Azor, Azor the father of Zadok, Zadok became the father of Akim, Akim the father of Eliud, Eliud the father of Eliasar. Eliasar became the father of Masan, Masan the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Thus, the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations, from David to Babylonian exile. 14 generations, from Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Malala nyo pa ba nung nag-aaral pa kayo? O... I think I was in high school during that time that our teacher 
assigned us to trace our family tree, which for me during that time is already hard to trace. Kung ipapagawa natin ngayon o gagawin natin ngayon pag-identify ng family tree natin. Maalaala niyo pa ba yung lolo ng inyong lolo ng inyong lolo? <laughs> Maalaala pa ba kayo? Sa bahay ba eh, nakatago pa yung mga baptismal certificate nila? O yung marriage contract? O death certificate? O ba titrace pa kaya natin sa mga listahan sa libro ng mga parokya kung saan nabinyagan, saan nakumpilan, saan kinasal, o saan namatay. Siguro mahirap, mahirap, mahirap na balikan, lalong-lalo na kapag hindi natin maalaala. Lalong-lalo na kapag walang tayong pakialam, magtanong sa ating mga magulang. O ang ating mga magulang, wala na rin pakialam. Malaman kung sino yung mga nakakatanda na. Kung ano mga pangalan. Kaya nga nung naalala ko nag nung nag-thanksgiving mas ako sa lugar namin. Aba, medyo dumami yung mga kamag-anak ko. At uh, hindi na kailangan magtanong kung sino ka dahil sila na yung magsasabi ng kanilang uh, pangalan, kung kanino silang mga anak, kung kaninong apo, sila na yung mag- Uh, sasabi eh. At doon ko nakikita na ba, marami din pala kaming mga kamag-anak. Sa ating Ibanghilyo ngayon, wala kayong marinig na ibang uh, bagay, ngunit lahat-lahat na pangalan. Pangalan ng angkan ng ating Panginoon. At siguro, bakit magtatanong kayo, bakit? Ba't kailangan pa na i-trace yung uh, three groups of generations from Abraham to David, 14 generations from David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations from Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generation. All in all, 42 generations. Siguro magugulat kayo paano? Ah, siyempre, dahil may nakasulat na dokumento yung Biblia natin. But what is important kung bakit binigay sa atin ang mga pangalan ng 42 generations ng ating Panginoon ay upang ipakita sa atin na ang ating Panginoon ay tunay na tao. Tunay siyang tao. May pinanggalingan at ang kanyang pinanggalingan ay tao. Hindi siya galing sa putok ng kawayan. Tao siya. Naniniwala tayo na Diyos siya. Pero yung iba naman, eh nagdududa ng kanyang pagkatao at ang kanyang pagkadiyos. Tao siya. At dahil tao siya, dito makikita natin ang pinakadahilan kung bakit 
nagpakatao ang anak ng Diyos. Di ba promise ng Diyos kaya Dan at Eva na ipadala niya ang magliligtas. This is the promise Redeemer that God had promised to Adam and Eve. Pagkatapos, hindi sumunod si Adan at, sa, at si Eva sa utos ng Diyos, pinarusahan sila. Tinakpan ang langit hanggang makarating at maging tao ang tagapagligtas ng ating Panginoon. Kaya sa mga pangalan dito, napapansin nyo, hindi lahat natitino. Hindi lahat natitino. May mga magkasalanan. Kay Haring David, kay Solomon, mayroong mga magnanakaw, Merong prostitute. Merong adulterer. Mahihirap. May mayaman. At dito pala makikita natin ang pinakadahilan kung bakit naging tao ang ating Panginoon. Kung bakit pinadala siya ng Ama. Dahil para sa ating lahat. Simula sa pinaka makapangyarihan hanggang abot sa laylayan. Sa pinaka santo hanggang sa pinaka makasalanan. Iyon ang dahilan kung bakit naging tao ang ating Panginoon. In order to save Everybody. Everybody. Wala siyang pinipili. Matino ka man, makasalanan ka man. Ang mahalaga ay balikan natin ang ating origin, ng ating pamilya. Siguro, I-trace nyo yung pamilya nyo, ganun din. Kaya nga kung minsan nagsasabi, no, bakit yung kasalanan ng tatay ko, eh, kasalanan din namin. Bakit kung ang lulu ko noon at ang lulu ng lulu ko, eh, mahirap. Bakit hanggang ngayon kami mahirap? Meron bang transmission? Of course, no. Precisely, Jesus Himself cut that transmission of sin. Siya mismo ang pumutol ng kamalasan, kung maaari natin sabihin ng kamalasan. At paano pinutol ng ating Panginoon yung kamalasan ng kasalanan niya sa pamamagitan ng pagmamahal. Sa pamamagitan ng pagpapatawad. Mapapansin niyo sa buhay niyo na kapag ang tao hindi marunong magpatawad, malas ang kanyang buhay. Walang katahimikan ang kanyang buhay kapag ang tao ay hindi marunong magpatawad. Ayaw natin yung magulong na buhay, di ba? At yun ang dahilan 
kung bakit naging tao. Pinaghandaan natin ang kapan ng nganakan ng ating Panginoon, ang Christmas. At ang mensahe ng Christmas kung bakit nagpakataong ating Panginoon ay walang iba kundi ang pagmamahal ng Diyos sa tao. At pinatunayan ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Inalay niya ang kanyang buhay upang tayo ay mabuhay. Nagpakasakit siya upang tayo ay gumaling. Minahal tayo ng Diyos. Ano ang dapat natin ibalik? Sa Pilipino may kasabihan tayo, ang hindi marunong tumingin sa kanyang, lumingon sa kanyang pinanggalingan ay hindi makarating sa kanyang parurunan. Hanggang lumingon tayo muli sa pagmamahal ng Diyos at sa pagpapatawad ng Diyos sa ating mga kasalanan, hindi natin mararating ang ating kaligtasan. At ito ang mensahe ng ating pagbabasa ngayon. The genealogy of our Lord Jesus Christ. Please stand. As a frail and weak people, We bring our petitions before our Heavenly Father, who in His mercy and love wants us to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. For every intention we say, Divine Wisdom, lead us. Divine Wisdom, lead us. That our pastors may follow God's will and seek the good of those under their care, especially the poor and the less privileged. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine wisdom, lead us. That as a community, we may recognize the goodness in each other, show charity to all we meet, and refrain from judging or condemning the wayward. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine wisdom, lead us. That those who have lost their way and are feeling the pain of loneliness, anxiety, rejection, may find hope in the mercy and love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine wisdom, lead us. That the sick, the housebound, and those who are suffering may be encouraged and strengthened by the knowledge of God's love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine wisdom, lead us. That those who have died may be forgiven of their sins and rest in peace of heaven forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine wisdom, lead us. In silence, we offer now our very own personal intentions and prayers, the intentions of this Mass, and let us include the intentions of those who are sick, those who are in depression, and most especially those who are celebrating the birthday today for their anniversaries. Heavenly Father, may the power of your love always sustain us. Help us not to get distracted by the cares of the world and not to be overcome by the evil in our lives. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify this gifts of your church, O Lord, and grant that through these venerable mysteries we may nourish with the bread of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and ever for to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother loomed for him, with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us what's full in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Make holy, therefore, this gifts to pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis Alpo and Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his assistant, Gerard, our master of the order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with our Father Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you, throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please be, please all stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I love you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. 
Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the, the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. Let us stand. pray. Nourished by this divine gifts, Almighty God, we ask you to grant our desire that a flame with your spirit be shine like bright torches before your Christ where he comes who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. I would like to thank you for your presence, especially for your active participation and cooperation during this Eucharistic celebration. We continue praying for one another. Pandemic is not yet over. Kaya mag-ingat po tayo, lalong-lalo na sa ating mga pinupuntahan. So uh, we continue our uh, life uh, with the blessing of God. So maraming maraming salamat po at ingat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We will now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. Kindly remember the names of your loved ones who are sick at home or in the hospital. We will also bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Show be kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Oh,
you, oh beautiful.